Hey everybody, uh, this is another Jarvis video for you. This one I'm actually pretty excited about because it's adding a feature that I've always wanted to do since 1.0, so to speak, since the initial conception of Jarvis. I had it working for a while. If you looked at the previous videos, uh, it wasn't quite practical. There were some problems, so I basically uh, nicked it and decided I'd come back to it at a later date and time. Well, that later date and time is just about now. So I've, what I've done now is I've gotten speech recognition to work um, basically with all the commands and all the different settings and I don't need to do any additional programming to add things in. So I just bought this microphone. This is an XTAG uh, uh, Revo Labs um, wireless microphone. And uh, I have it around my neck here with a lanyard. But I can clip it to my shirt or into my, or into my belt. I find that the belt isn't as accurate so I kind of refrain from doing that. But uh, let me show an example and uh, unmute, unmute my mic and demo it for you. Jarvis. Yes, sir. Netflix home. Run command. Your Netflix at home are Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun Li, Ink Heart, and The Tale of Daspero. So it actually can read off the different uh, movies I have. I mean, it, it interacts with all the different commands that I've already built into the system. So let me show you another one, for example. Jarvis. Yes, sir. Home desk on. Run command. Desk has been turned on. So I can control the individual lights, uh, entire rooms, different settings, presets. Uh, I can turn all the lights off. I can tell them going to bed. I can tell them waking up. Uh, I can tell them to turn on the grill. I can turn and turn it off. I can tell them to do pretty much anything within the system that he's capable of doing. I can I can convey that during voice, uh, for uh, via voice rather. Um, and one of the newest things that I'm also adding to the system is language interpretation, so that I can uh, say complete sentences to Jarvis. And he can, uh, you know, read that back to me or understand what it is that I'm trying to say. So, uh, let me show you an example of that. So, uh, let me see here. Jarvis. Yes, sir. What is my current package status? Run command. No packages are currently being tracked. So as you can see, I actually said a whole sentence there, in a complete sentence, and asking Jarvis to tell me my current status for my packages. And uh, he, can, he figured out what it was I was asking for and then ran the command himself to uh, give me the output that I, um, that I desired. So uh, I'm still working on that. Obviously, language interpretation is actually a very, very complex thing, especially this English language, because we're so, we're so, uh, our language is such a complex language, but uh, it's, you know, it's going along one, 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 bit, one bit at a time. Um, this whole language, so, speech recognition thing is actually pretty new. I started working on it today, so there's a lot of fine tuning needs to happen, some edits here and there, but it's pretty much there for the most part, and I can pretty much use it in my, in my daily life here inside of my apartment. And I would really, really like to see that this becomes the standard or the most common methodology that I use to communicate to Jarvis while inside my apartment is just using the speech just because it's always here and so readily available. Uh, or maybe if I'm at my computer, I have an window open and ready so I can just type something really quick. But uh, yeah, that's it. Speech recognition is working and I can command uh, the, his entire system through uh, my voice.